We go to Edo State now, where the governor of the state, Godwin Obaseki, has expressed indifference to the method of primaries adopted by the ruling All Progressives Congress in selecting its flag bearer for the 2020 governorship election in the state. Obaseki, who spoke during a phone interview on television show on Wednesday, said he is sure of getting the parties not to fly the APC flag at the polls. According to him, it doesn't matter whether it is direct or indirect primary, I will win because I know what we have done in Edo State, he is quoted as saying. In a meeting on Tuesday, the Adams Oshomole led National Working Committee adopted a direct method of primary for its June 22nd governorship uh, primary, primary election, a decision countered by Obaseki's spokesperson and the Aose Mojezwa led faction of the party in Edo State, as they solicited that indirect primary be adopted. We are now being joined by the Edo State APC Chairman Anselm Ojezwa by via phone. Good morning, Mr. Ojezwa. Uh, good morning. Our congratulations in order with the news yesterday of Osage Izeyamu emerging the consensus candidate of the APC in Edo State. That is the joke of the year. Hmm. Why would there you say is no so? such consensus. What Izeyamu is, is the consensus candidate for the group called Edo People's Movement, which is a group that Adam Soshomole established to destabilize the APC in Edo State. So it's, it, it amounts to nothing. It amounts to nothing. That's a very strong statement. Do you want to say yes. more on that? Explain further what you mean. Ize Yamu is not a member of APC in Edo State. So he cannot be a candidate. Now, do you share in Governor uh, Godwin Obaseki's indifference to the method of primaries, you know, for selecting parties flag bearer for the 2020 governorship election in the state? Uh, it's not a matter of uh, indifference. The constitution of our party uh, allows for either indirect or direct. So both of them are legitimate. The difference here is that the National Executive Committee, which is superior to the National Working Committee, have given the prerogative to the state chapters to choose which of the methods they would prefer. Edo State APC has met, and we have chosen the indirect. The National Working Committee, therefore, does not have the powers to choose the method or mode of primaries. You would agree that Edo State has been in the news for several reasons uh, this time. Now, the incumbent, well, seems confident he will win the party's ticket. The Ize Iyamu crew hold the same confidence. Now, does this rubbish the primary election process of the party? No. You see, the point is that the party has a constitution and it guides everybody including the so-called national chairman. So if he believes that he's higher than the rules, there are ways and means by which we will remind him that the rule of law prevails in this country. I, 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 I sympathize with uh, Obasaki's position because in the past three or four years, he has done so much for the people of Edo State. And the citizens have expressed themselves. The party in Edo State is solidly behind Obaseki. It is a pity that Adam Soshomole, who had so much goodwill in Edo State, he has frittered it away. For what reason, I cannot fathom. But I believe that by the end of these processes, all the rubbish will be filtered away and only the fine grains we remain. We can only look forward to that time. Well, the governor's spokesperson, uh, Mr. Osage, is quoted as arguing that the Oshomole led National Working Committee choice of direct method of primary for choosing governorship candidates for the party cannot stand the test of legality. That's his own words. Do you agree? Of course. You know as well as I that since March, Nigeria has been in under siege of a pandemic that is of a global nature. The federal government and the state governments have been grappling with this pandemic. 
a lot of uh, regulations have been put in place, restricting movement, restricting crowding. And in fact, you know that no group of persons beyond 20 can aggregate in a, in a place. Mm -hmm. You know that the churches are not functioning. You know the mosques are not functioning. Why would the political party come and organize an event that is statewide, involving over half a million people, and that has the potential to reverse all the gains we have made in this war against um, the, uh, the COVID-19. Why? Because of the ambition of an individual? That cannot stand. The law is supreme. And this is a country of the rule of law, and the law will be uh, will enforced to the fullest. Mr. Jezo, before I let you go, are you not worried with all that is happening in Edo that this seeming endless feud could mar your party's chances at the poll if you are strongly considering the will of the people? I am very worried. And I am really worried that the leadership of the party will fold their hands and watch one man destroy the work that everybody has done across the country. Can you imagine that as at the time Oshomole became national chairman, APC had 26 governors. Today we have 20. Hmm. And now he's endangering the only one we have in the South-South. I expect the leadership of the party to move in and save this party from that man. All right, Edo State APC Chairman Ansel Mojezwa, thank you so very much for your time with us this morning. Stay safe out there. Thank you so much.